For today's medical terminology prefixes episode, we're going to be going over re, semi, sub, super, and sin. Memory Master Champion Lewis Angel right here with AE Mind. And remember that you can always get the free medical student mastery guide at medstudentguide.com. As you know, we need to turn these words into images, but first let's learn the definition and a quick word use for it. So for re, that means again. A word used for re would be rejuvenation, which means the restoration of youthful health and vitality. My association to help us remember what re means, which is again, would be while using the reed of a clarinet, while using the reed, the clarinet player played the same song. So he kept playing it over and over again. Re means again. The next word is semi, which means half. The word used for semi would be semi-supine, which means pertaining to a posture that is between a mid position and the supine position. My mnemonic association for semi, which means half, would be that the semi truck was cut in half. So picture a semi truck cut in half, which represents semi. <laughs> All right, the next one here is sub, which means beneath. Sub, beneath. The word use would be subungual, which means beneath a fingernail or toenail. What I would picture for this would be a subway that could run only underneath on the city tracks. You can also possibly picture a submarine going underneath the ocean waters. Sub means beneath. The next one here is super. Super means above. The word use is supernatant, which means situated above or on top of something. My story would be that the superhero was flying above everyone while showing his abs. Now, the reason why I threw in abs in this situation is because it helps us remember above, abs above. So whenever you run into that situation where you're having a hard time recalling what it means, even though you see it clearly, like I can see a superhero flying. But what does that really mean? What is it? You know, does that word represent flying? Does it represent jumping? What does it represent? So if you add an extra anchor such as this abs, it can help you remember more clearly the actual definition. So you see the abs. Oh, yeah. And the superhero in this case is above me. That represents above. Super means above. Last one here. Sin. S-Y-N. That means together. My word use would be synthetic pertaining to a substance that is produced by an artificial rather than a natural process or material. Now, my association or my story here, well, first of all, sinks would be my main association for the word sin, for the prefix sin, S-Y-N. So I would picture uh, the sinks that were joined together with glue. I'll see a sink right there and it were joined together with glue. So sin, S-Y-N, means together. There's two sinks apart, so you join them together. All right, quick review. Remember to review these stories for them to stick to your long-term memory. What does re mean? Re means again. We picture a reed and the clarinet player. He kept playing the same song over and over again. It means again. Semi. What does semi mean? Remember the truck being cut in half. Semi means half. Sub, what does sub mean? You might picture the submarine or you might picture the subway, but both of those were beneath. Beneath is the definition of sub. Super, what does super mean? I know we spent a little bit more time on this one, so hopefully you can get this faster. Super means above. You saw the superhero showing his abs above. Sin, what does sin mean? Sin, picture the sinks for sin together the sinks were together all right there you go make sure to get the free guide medstudentguide.com i have every single one of these prefixes suffixes root words in that guide you can get the full ebook for free right now on that website all right we're almost done here with the prefixes i'll see you on the next one keep learning keep growing lewis angel signing off